Hi, this is Jay Stimmon. I'm uh, with Flag Family Medium here with uh, tight end Joe Stuffel. Joe, uh, it's been a while since we talked to you. Uh, you wrapped up last season on the road in uh, Montana, and obviously that left a bitter taste in your guys' mouth. So uh, what was the mindset going into the offseason to get ready for this season? Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, Montana game was a really tough one. Um, not how we wanted our season to end for sure. Um, so... You know, we go on our little whatever break we had after that, but I know once guys got back to campus and, you know, back in the weight room with Kramer, our mindset was 100% knowing the score of that game and mm -hmm. knowing that we have a job to do this season. When it comes to your off season, then, obviously um, you kind of got yourself more and more integrated into the passing game as the season went along. Uh, what have you worked on this off season to kind of get you more prepared for this season and your role in this offense? Uh, one of the biggest things is uh, definitely a leadership role, first of all, mm -hmm. um, trying to step up as um, a big voice on the offense, you know, trying to get all the you know, tight ends along, even you know, O-line along, all those young guys. But, uh, you know, with some of our stuff that we do in the summer, I've been trying to, you know, watch our receivers um, see what they're doing um, kind of learn from them how they see defenses and you know how I can bring that over into my game um, um, and in the past game so what did you take away from last season that you know you felt like you really kind of developed in over the course of that season kind of going off from uh, that that previous year down in Frisco we had a chance to talk to you down in Frisco we're heading into the national championship game last year you had that bigger role so what did you take away from last year of your experiences how did you improve over the course of last season um, I think it was more or less you know knowing who we're playing uh, being able to be extremely confident going into games um, knowing what kind of defense is showing up what I can expect from them what kind of players I can expect um, and that really gave me the confidence you know to continue to go out there and just you know do what I do so that's that, that was probably the biggest thing you go into this year you got a brand new head coach new offensive coordinator uh, how has that changed uh, the atmosphere at NDSU has it changed the energy here what has been the biggest difference with coach Paula second charge um, I think it, it definitely has changed the energy, and I think it's it's something new. And I know a lot of we're all behind him. All the guys are behind him. Um, and you know, right away it was really hard. You got to get to know people. It's change. Change can be scary sometimes. Um, but once you know, once we got to get to really know Coach Polisek and Coach Landry, it was one of those things where it's like, all right, we're 100% bought in. We're excited. Let's roll. You get to go down uh, to Colorado this year, go to Boulder, uh, playing a, a FBS program, a, a Power Four conference, if you will, uh, a team. Uh, what are you looking most forward to taking on the Buffs in Colorado this year? Um, I think it's just, you know, the challenge um, that surrounds it. Um, it's an FBS team. Um, I know we don't really get a lot of those teams on our schedule, so it's always one of those where you can um, really – challenge yourself as a team to see you know where are we you know like where are we um also you know it's just going to be a great atmosphere really fun right. they got some incredible players down there um so it's going to be really fun to see um how we match up with them do you think that that early season test because obviously we've seen a number of fcs schools knock off fbs schools especially in, in that week one matchup but do you think that's a good barometer of where this team is at and what you guys may have to work on as you get into your other non-conference games and then you head into the conference season yeah i think 100 percent. you know it's a really really good team that we're going to be facing so you know of course it's game one you know, energy's high, you know, levels are high, people aren't as banged up, um, you know, as they are in late season. So it's definitely one of those games where you can sit back, look back, learn from a ton of stuff, you know, a ton of stuff that's going to happen um, and hopefully spring us to where we want to be, you know, in January. Uh, looking at this season, obviously tough conference as always. Uh, SDSU's picked to win it. You guys are picked second. USD's right behind you. UND is uh, fifth. Uh, it really shows the strength of the Dakota schools. And uh, what do you think, just in general terms, about the conference? It looks like it's going to be another strong year for the Valley. Yeah, I mean, we're excited. There's no, uh, there's no week, really, when you want to go into a game. You know, it's like, oh. Uh, you know, these guys aren't that good. It's kind of going to be one of those games. No, you never really look for that. We always look for those games that are going to be challenging. And, you know, those are just the fun games. You get mm -hmm. to, you know, the atmosphere is crazy. Um, you know, everyone wants to be the leader of the Dakotas. Um, and, you know, last year we did not come near what we wanted to, mm -hmm. um, our expectations. So we're definitely a little hungrier this year um, to to go play those games. Well, Joe, uh, best of luck this season. We look forward to seeing you out on the field, catching some touchdown passes this year. So uh, best of luck. Uh, this has been Jay Stemmen alongside uh, Joe Stuffel for Flag Family Media.